the channel today we are going to go over our updated spring forecast for the upcoming season there will be bouts of severe weather heat cool all weather so things can get kind of crazy at times now we're here to cover it for you with our updated outlook now before we get started here I would like to ask that you subscribe to this channel and like my videos if you do enjoy our content. Now here is our temperature outlook for the spring. The highest risk for above normal temperatures appears to be in the middle of the country including Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, so the so far southeast Iowa, extreme southern Nebraska, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Southeast Colorado, and Far East and portions of New Mexico. This region indicates that there will be well above normal temperatures prevailing much of the spring, if not, probably not all. And then, and above normal temperatures is including Denver, Houston, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., New York City, Boston, Cleveland, Chicago, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis. There will be times that we will be seeing well above normal temperatures, and there will be times that we will be seeing a slightly cool periods throughout the season. Slightly above normal, including Los Angeles, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Tampa. You guys in Florida and also the upper Midwest and the West and Southwest. You guys might be seeing warm periods more often than colder periods in the season. And the only below normal temperatures we're seeing here is in the Pacific Northwest, including California, Oregon, Washington State, including Seattle, and Portland. These regions will more likely to be seeing cool and wet periods rather than milder periods. But it can certainly see mild periods at times also. Now here's a precipitation outlook for this season. We indicate that there will be above normal precipitation in the Great Lakes region and the Midwest with, with much below normal precipitation and possible for the desert southwest. We're going to go from north to south and we're going to start with the above normal precipitation including the Great Lakes and the Midwest. In the dark green region, we expect wet periods, but some dry periods, but mostly kind of wet periods, with frequent storms expected in the area, including major cities of Minneapolis, Chicago, Milwaukee. They will also likely be dealing with some severe weather and also some storms time to time. And now the light green region is slightly above normal precipitation, including in the northern tier and dropping into the Ohio Valley and the northeast regions, including northern Idaho, northern Montana, Washington State, North Dakota, South Dakota, Southwest Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Detroit area of Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York State, and the northwest corner of Vermont including the major cities of Cleveland, Sioux Falls, Seattle, and, and possibly Nashville. <clears throat> now with our below normal precipitation, which includes cities of Los Angeles, Denver, Oklahoma City, in the slightly below normal precipitation, we do expect some precipitation as long as you're not in the desert southwest, which might see just a little bit at all which isn't much relief for the area. And then in our just in general below normal region, including the major cities of Phoenix and Houston and Tampa, there will be rather dry periods rather than cooler periods and wet periods. In the final region for this, we have our orange region, which is much below normal precipitation, including the states of New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas. There will likely be much dry periods with little, if at all, precipitation expected throughout the season. Whoops, sorry. Now here is our severe weather outlook for the season. 
Now here is our above normal OBS, which will be the most likely region to see severe weather in the light purple shaded region, including the states of Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Illinois, and as well as the parts of the Mississippi River. These light regions will most likely be either a core of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes, and then in the dark red region. There will likely be some possible severe weather outbreaks throughout the spring. When the states of Missouri, if not in the light purple zone, southeast Kansas, Oklahoma, if not in the light purple zone or any other zones, northeast Texas, northern Louisiana, northwestern Mississippi, possibly the northwest corner of Alabama, west Tennessee, west Kentucky, southwest Indiana, and also central Illinois, with our or wet in general zone, we expect some possible severe weather outbreaks, but mostly just some severe weather events that could produce a few tornadoes at times, including the regions of the states of Louisiana, remaining of Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, also Indiana except the northeast corner of the state, northern Illinois, southern Iowa, southeast Nebraska, central and northeast Kansas, West Central Oklahoma, Texas, if not in the pink zone or any other zones, and then possibly in the and in the Western Carolinas, also the Virginias, and also other states of Georgia and the Florida Panhandle. Now in a pink zone, there is some risk of severe storms, but outbreaks will be unlikely, at least for part of the season, including. Southern Texas, the Oklahoma Panhandle, Western Kansas, Eastern Colorado, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Southern Wisconsin, Northern Iowa, Southern Michigan, Northeast corner of Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, the Virginias, Maryland, D.C., remaining of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia along the coast, and the remaining of Florida. Now here is our final snowfall outlook. If if you're in the light blue region, which includes many major cities, that, that means your last snowfall may occur later this month. Including um, port, parts of the southwest, the Rockies, the, the low elevations, including the Cascades, possibly the San Bernardino Ranges, also the, the Nevada region. And also parts of Midwest, the Central Plains, Appalachians, and parts of the Northeast and the Great Lakes. Now in a dark blue region, you might see a first last snowfall in the month of April, including in the Rocky Mountains, the Cascades, and the, the medium ranges, like the medium elevation. And also parts of the upper Midwest, the Northern Plains, and also the New England region. In our final region for this outlook, we see purple region, which means May or later will be a last snowfall for the season, including North Dakota, uh, Montana, especially in the Rockies, and also the Cascades with the higher elevations, and also n the upper Great Lakes and the, up and the remaining of upper Midwest. Now here's a real spring outlook for the season. We're going to go west to east. We're starting with cool and wet. This region will be the most likely to see some pineapple express throughout the season. And then we go to our heat waves region, which indicates that we will we'll be seeing some heat waves throughout the season with hot and dry periods, mostly, but can't rule out some wet periods too, especially in the central and east and parts of this region. No, no, average, we see just n near general weather for the spring across That's this region in the southwest here and the west. Now here's our, dr our dry region which indicates dr mostly dry periods but also can't rule out a few storms and some um, rainy periods too. Showery, this is just where we might see some rain showers from time to time. Can't rule out storms here either. Now, in our severe weather region, this is where we'll be most likely to see any severe weather outbreaks and tornado outbreaks, which includes, includes, includes the alley, 
in, in also including the Midwest, parts of the South, possibly the Plains, a swimmy region, which includes foods that you'll probably see some swim from time to time. Some of them could be strong or severe at times. Now in our final region, including the occasionally hot region, you'll likely see some heat waves too. But probably not as bad as the south because you guys are further north. And even all the way into possibly southern Canada, even the New England region, could see some heat once in a while too. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope you have a good day.